Ah, ah. Love this jam. While I expose you to chum salona, eh? While I expose you to Sharp, I enjoyed my birthday. Thank you to everybody who wished me a great happy birthday, whatever. Galeboha. But now, I told you I'm going to expose my friends again. Here we are again. Now, Bampata gets ready out in Lebon tonight. Hakiba, Likibro. Why Luna is a halmele bahutiba Luna? Hurry, le understand the hurry. Sometimes when your friend is tired, your friend is tired. This one did not understand because only because we were celebrating her birthday last weekend. And now that it's my birthday, and I told her this morning, I said to her, listen, no need. You're good to see, celebrate your mind. This is a one maybe Sunday. It's fine. It's not a problem. No. What's the lane? Usend le leni. What's the lane? She's on her way. Yanu riyeta juanta bai. Hello friends, I am absolutely going through it. I'm hanging, I'm, I'm not grand. <sighs> to explain to you how not grand I am, I came home drinking this yesterday. This is a Negroni, had ice in it yesterday, it was wonderful yesterday. Am I going to finish it today? Probably, I am. I'm just going to add lots of ice and slowly sip it a little bit later. Ah, what a fun man. Ah, eh. Oh, what? But here's the thing. Yesterday was my birthday. It was insane. I didn't want to do anything for my birthday. I didn't feel like doing anything for my birthday. Uh, and I think I said that earlier on in the vlog. Or the last vlog. I don't know. There's too much footage. This will probably be in the following vlog. But I think I said that. My family and my friends were like, absolutely not. <laughs> That's not how we roll. So they took me out. I was out of the house from, I'd like to say 11 a.m. till about 11 in the evening. So I was just bouncing around from place to place. I had a crazy shameful amount of tequila shots yesterday just shameful i'm not even going to tell you how many just shameful i'm hanging and the reason why i switched this camera on is because i wanted to say something today i broke my checkers 60 virginity i'm typically somebody who doesn't mind i don't mind going to the store and getting what i need I don't mind, you know, your Woolies dashes, your Checkers 60. I don't, I don't use those apps. But I broke that thing today because there is no part of me that's going to hit the streets. Absolutely not. In fact, I need at least two months off of the streets, off of Groove, because last week was Prudence's birthday. Yesterday was mine. It's Saturday today and I can't even imagine doing anything. And there's work that I need to do. But to be honest, I am. Things are one access. So I broke my check at 60. Virginity. And why I broke it? Because I needed Coke. And I don't have Coke in the house. So I ended up buying a whole lot of other things that I needed. But I wanted to share with you guys. You know? To share that I finally broke my check at some of y'all are probably sitting there thinking that oh, for real, you can't be serious. This is what I wanted. Coke Zero. Did I get Coke Zero and normal Coke? Oh no. That is why this thing is so heavy. So I got normal Coke and Coke Zero. 
it's nice to have options. <laughs> bread, because standard requirement was the date today. Okay. Put it in the fridge. the deodorant, I'm sure. Ooh. Yep. Two deodorants, two gyna guards. Needed that. Needed to stock up on that. <sighs> they didn't give me the individually wrapped ones. You see, this is why I need to do this thing myself for me. I need to go to the shops myself because they... Are these the individually wrapped ones? They're not! Ah! Fine, whatever. The Kotex panty liners. I prefer the individually wrapped ones because I can take a few and put it in my bag without me feeling like it's it's exposed and that it could get bacteria on it. Fine, I'll just have to keep these in the house. Just use these when I'm home. Check because bleach standard requirement. Uh, what is this thing? Flow and all-purpose cleaner. It was on special. So I took that, which is great. Obvious fabric softener. And it holds it. Oh Lord. And then the kitchen cleaner from Dettel. Nice, wonderful, great. I'm gonna pack these away, pour myself a glass of Coke with lots of ice in it. And take a little minute. I'm currently watching The Real Housewives of Potomac, my favorite trash TV, just unwinding. Just, I don't need to think when I watch it, you know what I'm saying? I can do whatever else or be pattering around the house. Uh, but because in Diablo I get today, there's not much I'm going to say apart from the fact that I'm gonna drink this hand. Later on, I'm gonna drink this hand. But for now, I need to sit down. So I'll see you a little bit later.
Type of day, friends. We're having a Negroni today. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a Negroni. It's gonna be so exciting. I feel like having Negroni today. As you guys know, I drink um, a lot of whiskey, but today it's Friday and I'm gonna be chilling in the house, gonna be relaxing. So today I'm making myself a Negroni. A Negroni is typically what I have when I'm out. Um, if I don't feel like having whiskey, but I want a strong cocktail, not, not, not cocktails for, for the 21 year olds, 20 something year olds. No, no, no. This one is, 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 is a, it's powerful. It picks a punch. It's for the grown ups of the team. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you what it is. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is a Negroni Spagliato. Normally a Negroni is done with gin, vermouth, and Campari. However, this time we're twisting it up and we're doing a Spagliato, which has Prosecco in it. So, oh, you gonna do it? Oh, yes. I typically used to just drink a Negroni, but I really wanna try out the Spagliato. So let's do it. So, first things first, you need vermouth. And the one that we use here is the Martino, Martini Lapartivo. Lapartivo. A rosso that's the that's the vermouth it's like a sweet vermouth and then the star of the show campari of course if you're an alcohol drinker you know what campari is and then we've got the prosecco so this is exciting let's do the lord's work baby <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> so good thank you all right let's have some fun okay and I, you, you know, the chances are you might not even like it. You'll be like, mm -hmm. it's sour, baby. Mm -hmm. Oi, it's it's sour, sour, but thing. it's like, it's sour, but it's also got a bit of sweetness. The sicko is here, everybody. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. The sicko is here, there he is. Say hi, the yeah. What do you mean, how do I drink it? This is, this is drinks for grown-ups. These are not drinks for just anybody. It's a grown-up drink here. Yeah. Okay, add some ice. Oh, I'm so excited. My mouth is even watering. Someone will have to buy anything in my house. Slowly. Da, da, da. The vermouth. Thank you. The sweet vermouth. Add a shot and a half of that. Can be two shots if you want. Yeah, typically two shots. But now nah, I did a shot and a half, okay? Then we get the Campari. Ooh, that's my smell. This is what you remember. No, I don't think this is the one. Are you sure? It's it's the only drink in one. It's a it's like Baba. Okay. Baba is it like Baba? Baba. Oh no. Baba. 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 Just uh, give it an ass whirl so that the ass ass is in. Do you know what I mean? Chills it a bit. This is big. This is big. This this grown folk drink. And you just leave it to the side like that. And then, then we want uh, the skin of the orange. Make it look cute here. Let's just cut it. 
Make it look nice and cute. It's got our snacks, man, you know? Ooh. Then you give us a bit of zest. We're going to throw it inside. Okay. And then... Ah, smells good. Then you just run that over the rim of the glass. Yeah, yeah. So, a bit of stir. This is grown folk drinks. Don't utwa Russian bear. Utona this. Utalemala. Don't do that. Then we add some prosecco. Look at how stunning it looks. That looks nice. So you can drink it like this, but then if you want to feel the full effects of the drink you mix it so that it's nice and red and it's got the red and the orange and this so do you want to taste it first without the first reaction of the negroni spagliata so you're tasting what are you tasting now the prosecco mostly i must say orange everything really yeah it's nice it's nice okay Can give it a mix it? yeah let's give it a mix so when you mix it, it the tastes color... like a lot of alcohol. <laughs> That's, yeah. It's a grown folk yeah. drink, my boy. Then what you do is you add more ice. Oops. The more ice, the merrier. All right, give it a shot now. It's nice. It's good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Let me taste. I like it. Yeah. Mm, mm, but it mm, tastes mm. like a lot of alcohol. Mm. That about my sixty percent. <laughs> this one you drink very slowly. Yeah. I Lena, tell. even it's, when it's, even when you order it, one, um, one mistake it's late <laughs> for you. This one you drink very slowly. You can taste the bitters from the orange and the orange peel. Yeah. It's really good. But it's got a bit of mix of sweet as well and and bitter. Very and sour. What is this? It tastes like the prosecco as well. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. It's tasty, yeah. tastes sparkly as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Are you happy with it? Yeah. So let me make Ooh. another one. Cold. Hey everybody. Um, so you may have seen that earlier on, Lesejo was here. He was uh, doing a couple of things for me in the house, and I needed him to fix a couple of things because you know there's just certain things that ladies can't do. Okay, but in a nutshell, I just needed him to uh, change a couple of globes for me where I couldn't reach. If it, if it was a point where I could reach them, I would have done them by myself, but I couldn't. So I asked him to come through because he was in the area and he came over to help me fix all of that. And while he was here, I was fixing for a Negroni. This is what I was preparing is called a uh, Negroni Spagliato. And normally for me, I, when I'm out, if I don't finish off my evening with a glass of whiskey, I'll typically go for a Negroni and I enjoy it. I love it so much. <laughs> I really do enjoy it. It's, it's, it's a cocktail, but a very strong cocktail. It's not, it's not jazz. <laughs> it's not just, uh, oh, you know, I'll have a mojito or I'll have a long island. No, it's, it's actually a lot stronger than that. It's like, um, what's my other favorite cocktail that I love to have? Uh, old fashioned. It's very much like an old fashioned but a little bit stronger. It's got the, the, why do I have an email at half past four on a Friday? What kind of email is this? Um, it's a, it's, it's got the bitters. So it's very, it's got an element of sweet, but it's got a very element of strong and sour and bitter. And it's got the citrus bitters as well. So it's really good. And you add a little bit of, uh, orange zest to it which is nice it's so nice very refreshing 
but typically for me, I just normally when I'm out, I have a Negroni and uh, recently discovered that you can have a Negroni with Prosecco and I wanted to try it and it's actually really nice. It's also a little bit lighter than your normal Negroni because this time around it's mixed with a Prosecco and not a gin. So it's, it's, it's quite good. It's quite good. So today's Friday. I had a very short day, hence why I decided to have a little bit of an afternoon drink with Lesejo and chilled with him a little bit. If you don't know who Lesejo is, Lesejo is my cousin. So my father's youngest sister, uh, the, the last born of the family from my father's side, uh, my aunt is Lesejo's mother. So Lesejo is often with me a lot, or my sister. We spend a lot of time with him. I see him a lot at work as well. So we've grown quite fond of each other. He's closer to my sister than he is to me. But uh, we've grown quite fond of each other. So he, he pops in every now and again. And um, so he came through today. Um, it's cold. It is winter time. So I'm quite cozied up, cuddled up in my sweater and sweatpants. Feeling really comfortable. Feeling very relaxed because of the Negroni as well. Um, but it's been a really crazy week. I can finally talk about the fact that I'm doing some work with Momentum Health, specifically Momentum Multiply. Momentum Multiply is a rewards program under the Momentum umbrella. Like it's a reward program for a mental, um, or a medical aid solutions, but it's got like a, a, men, uh, a rewards program. So I'm doing some work with Momentum Health and I'm very excited about that. I've been posting up content all afternoon. I'm going to be uh, interviewing the head of Momentum Health and the head of Momentum Multiply next week. Very excited about that. Extremely nervous about it. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Very nervous about it. But yeah, going to be attending a very fancy event in Santon next week. And I'm going to be interviewing a number of people on behalf of Momentum Multiply. And I'm really excited about that. Very excited. It's new ventures, um, new campaigns. There's just a bunch of exciting things happening, which... I'm really, really looking forward to. I'm very, very excited about. It's just, I like being able to work with companies or brands that align with the work that I do. I find that to be just so purposefully me and purposefully driven and so suited for me and the work that I do. So I'm very, very honored to be able to speak to heads of, you know, medical aid solutions or just heads of health in different companies where we can talk around topics like mental health. It's really, really just for me, just so inspiring and just, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much been happening. I've been dealing with all of that during the week and I've been going to work and doing client sessions and all of that. So it's, it's really been a busy week. Um, today was the one day that I have off from work or from going into the office, but I was doing work here at home and all of that. So it's to be at the end of today is just such a relief. It's been a long week. There's just been some other really crappy things that happened this week that I'm really not happy about, but I guess it is what it is, you know. Um, life will happen amongst good things. There'll be other things that will happen that are not so good. And it kind of be like that sometimes, you know. I've got an early morning tomorrow. I need to attend something with my dad and my sister. So I'm, I'm not going to be filming that. Uh, but... It's a very early morning. I need to get up at like 7. 7.30 maybe. 7.30. <laughs> um, but yeah. Then after that, on Sunday is Father's Day. I need to pick up something for my dad 
tomorrow afternoon i will have the afternoon to do whatever i need to do to just finalize things for father's day and then we're going to be going home and spending the day with the family with dad gonna be buying some food having the siblings over it'll be a good time um yesterday i went and i watched bad boys ride a dad I did, I did, I did, I did. I'm a big fan of the Bad Boys franchise and I love all the movies. I watched Ride or Die yesterday. It's about two hours, 10 minutes odd. Um, it was really good. Not my favorite out of the four, but um, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's great how they brought back certain scenes, certain moments that sort of like feature from the other movies, certain characters. Um, there's some sad things that will be quite upsetting for you to see in this new movie if you're a fan of the Bad Boys franchise. Um, and there'll be some great things that you will see, some really strange things. But it's, it's, outside of that, the storyline was pretty good. It was enjoyable. Not my favorite. My favorite one is the one with... Um, the the tony the one with tony the cuban drug lord that is my favorite one i think it's the it's the second or the third one i can't remember i think it's the second one uh but that's the one with my favorite one with the with the rastafari guys as well tony the drug lord and all of that that, that was that, that was my favorite one but yeah so for the rest of the afternoon i'm pretty much going to chill out, lay back, relax a little bit, uh, unwind because it's been a long day and Valerie is in town. So, girl, already in JK, nar, nar, nar because of Valerie. Um, but outside of that, I'm good. Wanted to catch you guys up. But yeah, so I'm feeling a sense of really calmness, a gratitude, um, a sense of peace and quiet finally in my head, in my mind. Um, yeah, just acceptance really, you know. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's going to end here. I don't know how much footage I have. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, or on Father's Day, might shoot some content on Father's Day as well. I'll take my camera with me to go home. Yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. And if it ends here, I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know which part of the vlog was your favorite so far or now at the end. Let me know which one was your favorite. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.